Today we're talking about how to use an online Gantt chart. Well, for so long, many of us used an Excel spreadsheet or even a desktop application to manage our projects and our Gantt charts. But today with online software, there's an easier way doing it online. So there are still some people today trying to continue to use Excel and desktop. So some of the limitations are though, it's harder to share among different team members and it's also harder to update or add notes. And then many times when team members are using the offline, the Excel or desktop, they start modifying an incorrect version or an older version, which really messes things up and wastes a lot of time. It's also harder to access later if you've ar archived it somewhere. So the benefits of an online is it's easier to be more collaborative with your team by having your team members real time on the same online software, they can go in, they can share files, they can look at them at the same time. Maybe they're reviewing deliverables. Um, maybe they're looking at requirements or doing testing so they can look at it real time. They can add notes or even be more interactive looking at interdependencies. Again, adding notes or attaching different files. So let's talk more about how to use your online Gantt chart to collaborate. So I think there are three different levels. First of all, there's your project level. So for the entire project and all the phases, you can create discussion threads. And in those discussion threads, you can track all along the way different things that are happening and track any issues, any risk, any other comments that you might want to go back and reference during the project. The second level is your task level. So what's cool about that is online is you can add notes. You can also include different attachments to different tasks. For instance, if someone's working on requirements, you can actually attach the requirements. If they're working on something with testing, you may can include an attachment for test case scenarios. Um, you can also include alerts. So if those tasks or if a task happens to be delayed, you can set up an alert. You can also alert when it closes. And then on the third level is the milestone level. And what's neat about that is you can set up alerts for when a milestone has been met or completed, you can trigger an alert that may indicate when to send a contract or to close out a contract, or also to send out an invoice or maybe even a payment. So you can see how the online Gantt chart can be very powerful to help you manage your project. So if you need a tool that can help you with your online Gantt chart, then sign up for our software now at projectmanager.com.